Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you on this look and I have lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> on this look that you see right here, I really, really was loving cool tones today. I don't know, I just kind of woke up and outside was really gloomy and windy and I was like, I don't really feel like my normal self with warm tones and stuff like that. So I just wanted to give something else a shot. And I love playing with cool tones. Sometimes I'll go through a phase where I am doing nothing but warm toned kind of eyes and just overall makeup looks, but then sometimes I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm loving cool tones right now. So I ended up using pretty much every single cool tone color in this palette. I used a lot of these shades right here and then this one and that one as well. So this is the Tartelet Amazonian Clay Palette. Um, I don't, it doesn't really have like an actual name on it. It's just a tart lip palette and all of the shadows look like this. So I'm not really sure if this exact palette is back in stock, but as you guys can see, they're just pretty much the cool tone colors right here. You don't have to have this exact palette to get inspired by this look. You can use, of course, whatever you have. And yeah, so I really, really hope that you guys enjoy watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye. So the palette I'm going to be using today is this really cute little Tartelet palette and my eyes are already primed so the first shadow I'm going in with is called Caregiver. I really really like this shadow because it's the perfect light pink shade for a cool tone purple look and I am using a really fluffy like Sonia Kashuk blending brush just to apply this in my crease and then I'm going to blend that upwards. Then I'm going to take the shade Natural Beauty on a more dense tapered blending brush. This one is from Morphe and I'm going to first concentrate the shade on the outer part of the eye and then I'm going to slowly work that way work that shadow up towards my crease and then I want to make sure that the crease is really, really defined for this look so I'm going to work into the crease even more. And then just going with the darker shadow on a more tapered brush, this one is called Best Friend. I'm going to apply this directly to the outer corner for this particular shadow. I really didn't want to bring it too far in towards the inner part of the eye because I want to have more of that cat eye doe eyed effect and I really want to concentrate the darker shadows on the outer corner. Then to really deepen up the look I'm going to take the shade Bombshell which is a really true like eggplant purple shade. I really really like this color for a really dark smoky eye. And again, I'm just taking another Sonia Kashuk blush, or brush. Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. Uh, this one is really, really tapered, and it is super, super dense. And I'm just concentrating that directly on the outer part of my eye. I'm not bringing this shade too far up into my crease. I'm really keeping it low because I want to deepen up that outer V, but without bringing it too high up. And then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of Natural Beauty, and I'm going to use that to blend out all of those colors together. Again, sometimes you will get to a phase in your smoky eye where it just looks ugly, it looks unblended, it looks choppy, but just keep working with those lighter shadows whenever you go over top of them with the darker shadow. It's just going to be seamless and beautiful. You just have to get past that ugly stage. And then for the inner part of my eye, if you really want your smoky eye to pop, on the inner corner. I said just going in with a lighter shade. So I am using the shade Super Mom. It's this really pretty kind of like eggshell color and I am just taking that on a like flat top brush or not flat top brush, a flat brush. <laughs> and I'm applying that to the inner part of my eye, making sure not to go too far outward so that I don't cover up all of that work that we just did. Then I'm going to prime my face with a Meet Makeup Diamond Primer. I really, really love this if you have dry skin. For some reason, my skin has been super, super dry lately here in Florida. It has been crazy with the weather. One day it is extremely hot, and the next day it is really cold. So I think my skin is just freaking out because of that. And then I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Oh my God, you guys, I love this foundation so much. This and the Josie Moran Argon Foundation, her newest foundation like these two, I am obsessed with. So 
For this video, I'm just taking it all over my Makeup Geek Flat Top Kabuki brush and I am blending that all over my face. Then I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for underneath my eyes and I'm going to be using a damp beauty sponge as always just to blend that out. That is a little trick for you guys if you are suffering from like really dry under eyes or if you ended up putting a little bit too much concealer on your under eye area, always use a damp beauty sponge because that is really going to help to soak up any excess of the product without taking all of the product away. And it gives such a beautiful, flawless finish. And then for this particular foundation, for some reason, I think because it's more liquidy than other foundations that I have, it tends to get a little bit streaky if I use just the brush. So after I do my under eye concealer, I will take my damp beauty sponge and just kind of dab all over my face. Then really quickly, I'm going to do my brows. And I am using the Model Co brow pencil in the shade taupe. I really, really like this because it is um, an angled pencil, kind of like the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Definer pencil. And I really, really like it. It's super easy to use and it has a little spoolie on the end. And then for my contour, I am taking a really thin My Makeup Brush Set brush. They're kind of like the Artiste brushes. Um, and sorry, I was just thinking about like how expensive those brushes are. But yeah, so this one is definitely a much cheaper version. And I'm just taking my cream contour from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. And I am carving out all of the areas that I want to contour on my face. And then I am taking a denser, more like wide brush to buff out all of those areas. I really, really have been enjoying this cream contour kit and using these brushes. Um, for some reason, it just gives such a flawless finish. I know I was using my NYX Wonder Stick and the um, like little e.l.f. Duo Fiber Brush for a long time, and I really still love that method, but this was just something different, and I really like the way that it blends out. I think it's just really cool, and these brushes are really unique. They're so different. I mean, I know that they've been like going around the internet like crazy, but I just think that they're so cool and a really awesome alternative. So now I am just taking a little bit of the Anastasia, Bev blah, 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 blah. Anastasia Beverly Hills banana powder to set that under eye. And then I'm taking a little bit of the middle shade from the powder contour kit to set my contour. And then for my blush, I'm really excited for this blush, you guys. It is a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Blush, and it is in the shade Rain. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's like a really, really deep lavender with like a pop to it. It's so vibrant and so beautiful. And I think it's going to be amazing for springtime, which I'm so ready for that to just come and be here already. And then for my lower lash line, or like the waterline, I'm taking the Ico London Fat Eye Stick in the shade Satin. And I'm just applying that. It was just like a kind of a cool off gray color. And then for my actual lower lash line, I'm taking a little bit of that really deep, pomegranate, not pomegranate, Jesus, you guys, I can't talk today. I'm taking bombshell. Let's just go with the name of the shadow. And I am applying that with a definer brush on the outer corner of the eye. And then I am buffing that out with a pencil brush with best friend. And then I'm giving my lashes a quick coat of mascara. This is the Physician's Formula Argon mascara thing. Um, you know, I don't really know how I feel about this mascara yet. Like, I think I like it, but as you guys can see on my, it's my right eye, but on the left side, I still have some of my lash extensions, and I don't know, it just feels weird whenever I apply mascara. But anyways, so I went in with the Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess. Love them. And then I am using this new product that I haven't played around with too much. It's by Luxy Beauty, and it's a highlight in the shade of Pandora. And I really, really love the color. However, I will say this. I don't like how I paired it with the ColourPop blush because for some reason on my skin tone, it made it look gray and it's not a gray highlight and it's not a gray blush so I didn't really like the combination of those two together but I used that to highlight and then I went in with the full lips lip enhancer lip 
pencil in the shade Cappuccino just to line my lips. And I will have a video of my review of the Full Lip Lip Enhancer products down below. And then I'm going in with the Full Lips Liquid Lipstick. And this one is in the shade 100. It's a really beautiful baby doll pink shade. It's pure pink. It doesn't really have a lot of other undertones to it. It is more cool tone, I will say that. And I loved it with this eyeshadow look. Sorry, I always do my lips out of frame. Like, I really need to work on that because... It just sucks. <laughs> and then I wanted a little bit more of a pout, so I took the Full Lips Lip Gloss in the shade 97, and I just dabbed a little bit of that onto the center of my lips. And that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you next time. Bye.